There's my drill press and what I'm going to show in this video is how to replace the on off switch which at the moment is quite awkward to get to and it doesn't have an emergency stop. We're going to replace it with this one which is an NVR switch and it's got an emergency stop. I'm going to mount it round about there somewhere so in order to do that I need to fabricate some type of bracket. Okay, so having a look around, I found a couple of bits of steel plate, which is 5mm thick. As you can see, I've cleaned it up a bit, squared it off, so that's going to be quite robust and sturdy. The piece I've worked on so far, I've drilled some holes in it. They're going to be the mounting for the switch, and these two for the cable entry. At the moment it's just a little bit too wide so as you can see there scrag the line and we're just going to cut it down to size and we'll do that on the chop saw. Okay, so the bracket's done as you can see, it's been primed and painted, doesn't look too bad and now we're just going to pop it onto the drill press. So the bracket's completed now, as you can see it's attached to the drill press, I've attached it with a couple of bolts using existing holes so I didn't have to drill into the casing anymore, firmly fixed to the switch box and we've got our earth connection which is there. Also, as well as you can see, I've upgraded to SY cable. From the front, all the connections are done. Again, I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. 
So we'll just pop the cover on and we'll see if it actually works. So let's turn it on then. And off. And back on again. And off. So we'll try the emergency stop. That works. Let's reset it. Back on. Okay, it's one more test. Let's reset that. We'll turn the power off, which is here. Then we'll plug it back in and it stays off. Switch it on again. And that's it, folks. Job done. Thanks for watching.